Let us all pray silently, meditating on God's words. Almighty Father, Father of blessings, I I have faith in that, that you're a Father of blessings. This hour, I believe in the fact that you'll help us this early morning, uh, being detestable. To help us not to be anybody who is foolish enough not to be being detestable, not to receive that blessings. Help us not to be a servant of Satan by our own thoughts, by our own theories. Help us not to be by our own theories, be one who is falling to ruins, being outside of Christ this early morning. Let these promises be ours, and each one of ours individually. Those who ruin their future, now we have realized this. Uh, help us. I'm the one that's ruined my family and myself. Help me to realize. I realize that, Lord God. Uh, I'm the one. Help me to realize that I'm ruining my own country through thorough repentance. Help us to be a blessed person. This early morning service, help us to receive great, help them to receive incredible realization and receive all the promises of them and their descendants being blessed for our country and for our people. Help us to be righteous servants, uh, having conviction of being righteous servants. In the name of Jesus, in thankfulness and blessings, I pray. Amen. Continuing on, before God, the the offering that have given the heart to, to the Lord, let's pray the prayer of blessings. Almighty Father of blessings, you, your heart, where your heart is, you said that's where your treasure is also. So as much as we love you, surely you said that we'll receive that love, Father God. Father, Jonah, when he gave thanksgiving, that's when miracles happened. We heard the voice of that by our mouth. We lips, uh, we confess it, but by our actions, we live in a detestable way. We live not having realization and like a beast, have mercy on us. You said by my mouth, I confess that I'm seeking first his kingdom and your righteousness. But right now I'm still a Pharisee, bound by money, bound by the worldly things. And tied up to the worldly things and tied up by our own thoughts and actions. Help us to be freed and receive liberty from that. The hands that have received liberty from that and give offering to you, let their miracles happen. Let your miracles happen just like like Jonah was a witness of, his miracle, of your miracles. Help us to all receive the promise of your blessings and that miracle. I have faith that your words will be fulfilled with no lies whatsoever and their descendants. Let them receive uh, this blessings and live life in abundance and be able to handle that blessings in the name of Jesus and thankfulness and blessings I pray. Amen. God's words, surely it's bound to work. But what's not working, I'm the one that's always not doing doing the deeds where it's not going to work. So starting from me, it's like that. Already, with those who have not Receive liberty from thanksgiving, they become Pharisees and Sadducees because they're not able to believe in God. They don't, they're not able to believe God. They think, oh, I'm going to lose out. They have those wrong thoughts. That's what ruins you, makes you ruined. So that's why the Holy Spirit wants us to receive blessings and He gives us movement. He moves our heart, yet we don't obey that. When we don't obey that, then King Saul. God who was with King Saul, he departed, then only the demons went in. That's 1 Samuel 16, 14. So they say believe in Jesus and they attend church, but inside of us, if we don't, if we don't obey God, then God will give demon inside, put demon inside of us. People don't realize this, so they're all fakes going around as fakes. So if you have demon inside, then you think you know the Bible, but it's without thanksgiving. As a Pharisees, they know it as a Pharisees. They have their own theories and their own thoughts and they don't obey the Word of God. So they're very detestable. That, Titus 1.16, that's in Titus 1.16. Why is it that you're choosing the deeds that are going to fall into ruins, the actions that are going to fall into ruins? It's one week. How many hours would it be here, even though it's a week? Those people who have uh, traveled me know this. You know, what we know before and now, it's of no use. All of Ezekiel, what you repent yesterday, well, but you don't do it today, you're hellward bound. Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 33 is recorded there as well. It says, if you don't share with others, the price of their blood is on your head. It says, those who are detestable, they don't share with others, they don't do forced repentance. You ask them to do it, you, and they mumble, and then they quit, they stop doing it. In Matthew 10, 32, you're denying God and things won't work out, God will deny you, then you'll receive calamities, things won't work out for you. And yet people live life not realizing this. And the fake pastors, they like to only hear the words that are sweet to hear, 
so they only share the sermon that's heretic and others listen to it and think that's fine they don't go where there's the truth spoken preached proverbs 15 12. so they're so arrogant they don't listen they're conceited they don't listen so each of you right now god who loves us the, those all, all the things around me through that god wants us to do uh, for us to do well so that's how he loves us and we don't believe in his words so when somebody says it it's, they says something that's oh that's arrogant why did they why don't they mind their own business that's their attitude then they do the deeds killing themselves because when you know they're foolish they you pay a lot of money and you learn it and uh, it kills you and yet you think you become foolish but it's for evangelistic purposes but they think that's everything that because that's why they become uh, foolish the Eastern philosophy, uh, Eastern philosophy leads, it's so foolish, it leads to ruins. And yet, people, they're doing it, not realizing, and they look down at women and consider them uh, yeah, lower. They think they love themselves. Those, I don't know who is it that you respect outside of God. If there's anybody there, then they're going to fall into ruins. There's nobody on earth that's worthy of respect. If, if there's even one, God will not say, have said, only believe in me. There's one right, right, uh, person that you should respect that's righteousness. Once in a while, you should respect them. No, there's none that's righteous on earth. Romans 3, 10 through 11. If we don't repent, even now we're wicked and evil. There's none on earth that's righteous to worthy of respect. So the first hour I said, the, repent with what your eyes have seen. So repent what your ears have heard. And even what you are saying, uh, be holy. James 1, 26, then let's have our wishes fulfilled. Let's let's consider that we're dead and uh, let's receive all good things when you do business or have a partnership when you deal with people and when you friend people if you want to see if they're uh, if they're a good person or not or not you should evaluate their relationship with their spouse those who don't have a good relationship with their spouse they don't love themselves those who don't love themselves they're killing themselves those kind of people they're like a beast if you ask them to do something they really treat you out of it you, you can't give them responsibility it's a big problem they'll treat you treat you my father, my somebody or other, with your father and child, you know, you go to the law uh, courts, there's a lot of lawsuits because of money. Those who have concern with money, there are Pharisees and Sadducees. What should we do with money? Subdue it, rule over it. With, when we go into Christ, we can rule over it and have dominion over it. We all have to receive these blessings. That's when God will give you money abundantly. Uh, he'll give you abundantly. He'll give you as much as you want. Let's all receive it when you can have dominion over it. Let's look up that we should go take another round uh, Ephesians 5 28 let's look that up uh, even after the revival if you go back if you deal with the, those people who are falling into ruins and you fall into ruins then th there's no fruit of coming into the revival here when you deal with somebody or befriend somebody or oh, they're a professor they're a prophet principal they're a, a minister cabinet minister that if you trust in all of them thinking they're a proper human being that's a big problem if they don't have good relationship with their spouse you realize that they're worse than a beast they're they're a bad person they're killing themselves they're not useful those who kill themselves even a beast doesn't do that if an animal you know, which animal goes to to a rock and bashes their head in no there's so many people worse than an animal but those who are don't have good relationship with their spouse they're killing themselves and yet you're partnering with them you're trying to joint venture with them and you're trying to rely on them and they're a relative they're gonna look after things for you hey you foolish one you're stupid you don't even realize that you have the eyes worse than a beast that's uh, eyes that have been boiled you know uh dried fish it's dried eyes but is that proper eyes you don't even know how to discern people and see people and determine don't do that and fall into ruins but god says there's none who have good relationship with their spouse matthew 10 36 god says then then there's nobody to to really rely on that's true there's no one to among but when you who are the ones there's none that's righteous who but through the mystery of christ those who repent they're the right one who's righteous those kind of people that have good relationship with their spouse if you want to have good relationship with your spouse outside of the mystery of god it doesn't work those who don't have good relationship with their spouse you put them in high ranking position government positions then they end up they they have a second family they they can't not take bribes because you know you know even a job they have to take both uh, they have to take two salaries they have to cheat because they have two households they have to divide up the money that's why they take bribes if you use them and you want to know why your business is falling to ruins our country is not doing well really it's obvious that they'll fall into ruins you're killing themselves why pick them 
Why do you use them? And because you're of the same kind, that's why you work with them. Somebody like you, if you meet somebody like me, I won't even look at them. If those who pierce themselves with a needle, why use them? They're killing themselves, why use them? Why work with them? Why partner with them? They're out of their mind. mind. Ephesians 5, 28, let's read with one voice. So husbands ought also to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his own wife loves himself. Amen. Therefore, pastors or whoever it is, they, somebody so great when they don't have a good relationship with their spouse, when you see that, how do you tell whether you have a good relationship with your spouse from the beginning? It's not good, so no need to really look further because they're all enemies. So God, he made the, he made the husband and wives meet, who are enemies meet as husband and wives. That's why they can look at each other and look and repent. And you may say before marriage, oh, the household was good. The house and they, the ancestors did many good works and those who are good believers, when you look at their children, they're pretty good. But when you meet them, when you meet a, a dirty person, then they get changed. And they, so many people, they say, I got married, I ruined, ruined my life. I made a bad person and I and now I'm bad. You know, when I was uh, before marriage, I didn't have such a temper. Now, there are many people, now I do. There are many people like that. Can you not fix that you, through forced that repentance? You can go back to that. We all have to change our fate. We to, if we believe in Jesus, then that will work. When we believe in Jesus, then it will work. When you do force that repentance, then it will work. Pastor, last night, you said Christ is so important. Why do you say believe in Jesus today? You have to go into Christ. That's how you can believe in Jesus. You have to go into Christ first. So each of you, you don't even know front and back. And So today, God, no matter what person it is, who have, those who don't love their spouse, they're not loving themselves. So between husband and wife, how are you? How are? How's your relationship? You ask them, how are they? Those with demon inside, they don't even know. That's embarrassing, shameful. Oh, I married wrong. It says, and they pretend to be so smart, saying that. Oh, I married wrong. I had a bad marriage. I'd say, and I said, hey, you're foolish. You're you're really a bad one. According to the Bible, those who have realization, you can say you're really bad. They don't even treat them properly, but they don't know this and think, oh, yeah, but man is successful. I've, the, the woman cannot catch up with me. I'm, now that I'm so successful, you're saying things that are so shameful. So it's not that you're successful, the, your spouse cannot catch up. No, you did not love them. But husband and wife, they're not two. Matthew 19, verse 4 and 5, husband and wife are not two, but one. Oh, now that I realize that I'm successful, you know, I can't use my right arm. Oh, I can't use my left arm. Let's uh, cut it out with an ax. No. No matter how much you are, you succeed. Your body is yours. How between husband and wife, you see them as someone else or as outside of you. Between those who don't have a good relationship with their spouse, you can just treat them as a perishing beast. And even so, those who study a lot, they and they're supposedly so successful. They're elder, a past, they're children of an elder, a pastor, or a deacon, or a daughter of one. Gong and. If you don't have a good relationship with your spouse, then they're not a proper human being. They're not an upright person. The person that doesn't love themselves, who can they love? So therefore, they're doing the deeds, falling into ruins. They're choosing all those things to do. So yet, surprisingly, they, they don't have a good relationship with their spouse. They go outside. They pretend to have a great relationship with others. That They're the ones that really are inadequate. So God says, First Peter 1.22, they're all liars. They go outside and things are good. Then people say, oh, when I go outside, I'm, they pretend to do good, but their household is bad. And those who are older, they know uh, at least to that point about that. So each of you, this hour on, me, if you want to be successful yourself, then you, the person that loves themselves the most, the person that loves that themselves the most they have to go to heaven they will receive the love of god they want to but if you, because you don't love yourself you already have a crooked relationship with your spouse that's why in our church if you don't have good relationship with your spouse i treat them as dogs and pigs whether you they come or go dogs and pigs coming uh, going back and forth how can i control their traffic hey piglet uh, you you, can, you know where, where can i uh, stroke their head no only to a proper uh, right person so each of you come to your senses the word of god between husband and wife if there's no love then they're harming themselves they're really a wicked and useless person they're not loving themselves that those kind of people when they go to a government official uh, position they ruin their country they don't love themselves they just do whatever they want not only that on top of that they're of the flesh they're like a beast 
So why is it the beast doesn't have husband and wife? Animals, they don't love themselves. They don't have husband and wife. They just attach to whoever, wherever. So that kind of person, when you, they commit sins of immorality, do whatever they want. And the, then it costs them so much more money to have a second household or wife. So that's why they are corrupt. And then they're corrupt. Why did they do this or that? What about you who's accusing that? You're the same. When you realize these words, so you don't use that kind of people, hire that kind of person. From now, At least from now on, let's live life properly. Why this early morning service? Why does he first give us these words for us to repent? No matter what it is, if we repent, all of that will be repaired and fixed. You'll become a new person. There's no past. With this blessings, let's have a new beginning. Let's receive blessing this early morning. Let's receive his help this early morning. This early morning, let's receive his help. And when we receive help, his early morning service, early morning, what kind of help do we receive? We want all things to go well. That in the Bible, it says all things going well. well everything going well. Let's let, let it be that kind of blessed early morning. This, But God, he is God Almighty. When he helps us, he'll give us blessings. He'll help us by giving us blessings of all things going well. But it's unfortunate you're not able to receive it. That in the Bible, all the person that's received the blessings of all things going well, that's the blessed person. So that's ch Psalms chapter 1. Let's receive that blessings. You should receive that blessing. Psalms 119. 119 is what? Psalms 119? The phone uh, 119, that's our U.S. Korean version of 911. When you dial that, what happens? Isn't it a big problem? Is it sirens going off? Sounds of sirens going off? How big of a problem? They say beep, 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 sounds of sirens. Uh, and that, that's 119, that's calling to confirm that. In the United States, the fire truck, what's the, it's 911. In Korea, it's the opposite, it's 119. They made it backwards. But biblically speaking, Korea is right. So that's why from now on, they have to receive, in the future, they have to receive our help. United States, what they're saying, we're 911. But Korea, they say Korea, Korea did 119. No, Gong. The Bible says is 119. Where's it say? The Psalms. There's no Psalms 911. There's Psalms 119. That person, uh, they're they're a little bit off. They uh, corrected. They corrected. Uh, they messed up the Korean language. In the United States, it's it's video. Korea, it's video, and video also sounds like you can see. So we can see vid video. Video means you can see the video. Uh, and talk, he talked about dollar. Dollar is uh, in Korean. It sounds phonetically means give, give me. But you have to be a child of God, and you have to say the do dollar. Then you say Amen. The world is ours. A dollar, dollar. It's all. It's ours. Surely you'll do well. Exactly according to this, it will be done. God, He's such a wonderful God. So some people say, Pastor, is he jokes so well? Those, do I look like a joke? Uh, he's using play on words with joke and yes, yes. it happens according to the word of God. I'm sharing one by one of the word of God. After I repent, I share what I have realization of. When it, uh, time passes, it happens because the word of God, it, that it happens. The word of God is realization. Once we have realization, we can see our life and other people's life. That is prophetic understanding. Let's receive prophetic understanding this time. Moriak, this is so great. Now, Psalms 119, verse 147, and verse 48. Let's read with one voice. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I wait for your words. My eyes anticipate the right that night watches, that I may meditate on your word. Amen. Each of you, these words, it has to be fulfilled in the early morning. So each of you, that uh, everything will work out for you today in a day. In today that you live as a blessed life, a blessed person, do you say amen? It's early morning, we have to receive his help. We have to receive this help. So here, today, let me read it. Me. Who is this? I, it says, you and I. To him who we want to receive blessings from. I rise before dawn. And, and cry, I rise before dawn. I before dawn, why? Why does it say before? So when does God help? So Psalms 46 verse 5, let's see if he, help, he helps us before dawn. This is the difference in time right here. Psalms 46 verse 5. When you look at the Bible, each of you, 
It's one verse. It's one word. It makes a difference. You don't seem to know that. So if just normally when I see it, and they take all these words out and they say foolish, foolish things. What we have to boast when we boast the worldly things, we don't hear what about. It's all sin. James 4.16, it's all sin. What we have to boast is only the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ on the cross, the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. Some people say that's boast the cross. No, they take it all out. Are they better than God that they exclude all these other things? I was so surprised. That person, are they res resurrected God? No, they're, they're, full, they're, they're fakes. Let's see things properly. The word of God. It's with one word, it makes a big difference. Psalms 46 verse five, let's read with one voice. God is in the midst of her. She will not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. Amen. Isn't that strange? It says uh, dawn, not before dawn. So it's uh, early morning. Who's the one that helps us in the morning? Early morning at dawn? God does. And you and I, we have to receive His help. We have to get up before dawn. So He who's going to gonna help us, why go after He passed by, after He passed? says they're going to give early, uh, gold, uh, gold this early morning. When you go there, if they're already gone. Then if you don't receive it, you'll lose out. So we have to wake up before dawn. Do you say amen? So therefore, something's not working out, you say? You're doing the deeds where things aren't going to work out. You chose those things when you went. They already divided the gold and gave it, passed it out already. It's gone. Then you just go home and just sleep. Early morning, God will help us. At dawn, He'll help us. You and I have to wake up before dawn. Do you say Amen? So therefore, when you have a problem, even more so, meet God. And we have to really go to the point and, and pray and receive His answers. Then if you have the mindset, if I perish, I perish. And, and God will not leave us till we perish. The, uh, loving children, when they go to the parents and say, Parents, it's good. If I die, it's, I'm fine to die for you. I don't want to even sleep. The parents says, yeah, you should all die. There's no parents who would say that. So, no, it's okay. It's okay. The parents say, now you can just, you want to sleep and rest and I'll do the rest. No, no, no. Uh, you know, you, unless you give that farmland, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, stay up till I perish. I'm going to do it till I perish. They'll give the farmland so that they won't perish. God, our Father, who loves us more than our uh, worldly parents, Matthew chapter 7, it's recorded there. It's this week. It's uh, this week. It's it's only Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If you sit here with a mindset, if I perish, I perish. God will not uh, have you die. No, He'll give you. He'll give you. He'll give you answers according to your wishes. You'll receive. Uh, to wake up, receive, get up early before dawn and receive these blessings. And get up before dawn and receive. So wake up before dawn and be ready to receive. So that's why he gave us early morning yesterday. When you wake up before dawn, cry out, doing four step repentance. When you cry out through four step repentance, Psalms 119, verse 47. Let's go back to that today. With this, we want to do verse 8. Yesterday, we only shared verse 7. Each of you, right now, if you have two wheels in the front and you don't put two wheels in the back, then the engine. What kind of engine is the best in the world? They say it's Muso. So no matter how, how good the engine is, if you only put two wheels in the front, it won't go. You have to have two wheels in the back as well. That's why you have to wake up before dawn. What do you have to do? Yesterday, I woke up before dawn through forced star repentance. If you had cried out, then if you did that, then our Father, He will give you words, His words. Then if He give you His words, then God has come. He, through the Word of God, you have received answers to prayers. Moses received the Word and he st st uh, sticked out his staff. and. The Red Sea parted. You have to receive that answer. This early morning, you have to receive the answer like that. You receive answers to your prayers like that. Like, so the problem is a blessing to us. That each each of the Word of God, it changes. It, 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 if it says after dawn, then it's something else. But it says before dawn, then you should wake out, wake up and cry out. First, realize our sins. Second, ask God for forgiveness. Third, you have to cleanse your conscience. That's how when you can cry out. So after you cry out, Oh, without forced our repentance, you cannot cry out. So here, Psalms 50, verse 15, in your day of trouble, cry out to him. You're not doing forced our repentance. Those with demon inside, you said, Father God, you cry out. The demon inside said, hey, you're crazy. Don't call. Don't call out. So when, when it comes, then I have to go out. So then don't cry out. Then they, they stop doing it. They cry out. Then they, then they start mumbling. God is, God is not deaf and he's not blind. Why do you not cry out? with your voice, but they cry out and they stop because the demon inside won't let them cry out, continue to cry out. 
because if, if you cry out to God and the Holy Spirit comes, the demons have to depart. So that's why they don't cry out to the Lord. So that's why God says, crying out to the Lord. Not anyone can do that. Only those who have received the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 12.3. So if you don't cry out to the Lord, uh, you realize they have demon inside. That They themselves, Proverbs 20 verse 11, by their actions, they show you that they have demon inside. And they show you that. That if you can't see it, then you have fish, uh, dried fish eyes. That, that's all. All. Let's see what, let's live life properly today. Psalms in uh, verse 147, you have to do four-step repentance. That's when you can cry out to Him. When you cry out to Him, our Father, surely He'll give us the words of, as answers to those who cry out to Him. He'll give answers of His words. Moses, in, in the Exodus, amidst those problems, He hear, heard the voice of God and answer, received the answer. That's why the people, when they moved, He said, be, be still, be quiet and still and, and freely. Just watch the, the this movie. Great. Not only that, you, you'll be uh, fortified in your health. He made it all. All that happened. That's why the Red Sea parted, and they they had all sorts of seafood, and uh, abalone and octopus. All great things. They could eat it. All good things. And so, but if it's a small creek that. You know, then, then there wasn't enough food. You have to part the Red Sea so that there will be plenty of seafood left to eat. When Who's the per first person that went in the Red Sea? They probably took snails and everything. But later, when they see bigger seafood, then they would drop the small one and change it to the big one. The, the ones behind would take the, eat the small snails. And later, when they got bigger ones, they would let that small ones go and take the big ones. That's how they would have passed. When you and I, we have a problem. Qualify, uh, quality to cry out to him. We have to be like Moses and cry out to him. We have to be like, uh, do you say amen? Moses did what? In the Old Testament, Moses, uh, he said, uh, you know, uh, Moses, what did he do? So he just confessed Jesus Christ. John chapter 5, verse 46. John 5, 46. So therefore, each of you, the Old Testament is such and such. The Old Testament is all professing Jesus Christ. Moses, the words of Moses, profess Jesus Christ. People don't even realize that. And you look at the Bible, that's why it doesn't work for you. Now, Psalms 147. Psalms, Psalms 119, 147, early morning. God helps us in the early morning. You have to wake up before that, before dawn. Do four-step repentance. And wait until you can receive answers to prayers. That's what it's referring to us here. Then God, when you do that, God gives answers to our prayers. After you receive answers to prayers, when you do wrong, then you'll fall into ruins. So we're here today, believing in Jesus. They, they do well. In the beginning, they received blessings. And after they did well, just like they crossed the Red Sea, and then they fall into ruins and die. Many people that receive blessings, and they want to use it for their own purpose. There's so many people in Korea that fell into ruins. They're trying to use it for their own purpose. A a deacon, he had so much money, and he, an uh, elder, he had so much money, fell into ruins, really, in a bad way. He didn't have verse 148. That's, uh, that's a proper realization. It's not that God doesn't want to give us blessings. After he gives it to us, then we end up going astray, doing something else. And no matter how much you receive, if you don't fall and you don't go astray, you go, go in the path of going to heaven. It's in verse 148. Do you say amen? You'll, when you receive this today, you'll change your faith. If you have this, you won't fall. You'll do better and better. You'll be a blessed person. You'll become a blessed person. We all have to receive these blessings. We have to receive this help this early morning. At dawn, God, He's such a wonderful God. Now, let's read with one voice. John 5, 46. God is in the... For if you believe Moses, you would have believed me, for He wrote about me. So, you said the... Uh, the words of Moses are so important. So some people say it's the Torah. The five books of Torah are so expensive, are so important. The words of Moses, the five books of Torah. Some people who don't have not gone to theolo theological school. I thought they talked about Torah. I didn't know what it was. But the five books of Moses is the Torah. A, you know. So using plain on words on Torah being some sort of a food. I thought it's talking about some sort of food, but it's Torah. It's the Exodus, uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, uh, from Numbers. I thought, oh, this is some food that's good for the, for your body. The five books of Moses. That is all what what's recorded there. It's recorded. Uh, it's, re it's a record of Jesus Christ. People don't realize this. They look at the Bible that they talk about the Old and New Testament differently. Genesis is talking about Jesus Christ. How can there be a separate Old and New Testament? They're all the same Bible. 
Uh, Deuteronomy 5.3, let's look that up. It's the promises to you right now. It's the promises to each of you. That's why each of you, we look at the Bible, you're looking at it so wrongly. So it's talking about Psalms. It's the Old Testament. People say, who said it's Old Testament? It's yours right now. It's yours right now, these words. It's your nourishment right now. So that's why each of you, these words, you talk about it as the Old Testament. That's why you don't receive answers to your prayers. It's like the vessel for our grandfather, the food at that time. What good is it for you right now? It's, it has to be food that's in front of you right now. It's the food for you in front of you right now, the meal before you right now. Do you say amen? These words. The Lord did not make this covenant with our fathers, but with us, with all those of us alive here today. Deuteronomy 5.3. Amen. So, this is so great. How, how come you're reading it like that? The Old Testament, the miracles that's happening in the Old Testament, it's all ours. It's all mine. It's going to happen for you, each of you as well. The, the, you know, the miracles of, of the Red Sea, it can happen for you right now. It's yours. Let's read that right now. Let's read it one more time. The Lord did not make this covenant with our fathers, but with us, with all those of us alive here today. Amen. Do you say amen? Do you say amen? Yeah. That's why, God, because of this, God is the God who helps sick, heal our sickness and disease. That's uh, Exodus 20, 15, 26. Is it somebody else's? It's the time of the Old Testament? Or is it mine right now? It's ours right now. That's where you can have healing of sickness and disease. First Samuel, is that somebody else's? Or is somebody ours? It's mine. It's mine right now. So we can receive wealth as a blessings. We're, that's why to receive that blessings, we want to receive help this early morning. That's why to receive that help, we have to get up before dawn. What must you do? Cry out. Do forced of repentance. And a thir third step, you do forced, uh, you cry out and you do forced of repentance through, through answers. Your miracles will happen among those who believe. It, it, his words will do its miracles even now. First Thessalonians 2.13. When you receive this blessings, why do you fall into ruins? Verse 48. If you don't have verse 48, you fall into ruins. That's why today in Korea, People believe in Jesus, they receive wealth as a blessing, and then they end up hellward bound. They fall into ruins, they give a bad name to Jesus, and they go bankrupt. Why? This is the way to block that. Block that falling to ruins. Pastor, if you shared this early, then I wouldn't have fallen to ruins. It's okay. If, you, if it's all over for you and you fall into ruins, God will save you again. Even though you are bankrupt and it's over for you, through Christ, He will save you again. You say, Amen. We're here to receive, we're here to receive that blessings. Why do we come here? Uh, to receive answers to your prayers. Why is it so good that we came here to receive answers to your prayers? That's why we came here. If it's, it looks good to eat, you build a concrete building, There's you don't have the Word of God, Go people go where there's the fake message. There's no, they're not sa helping save you. This, we're here so that we can be made alive because there's answers here. The Word of God does its miracles even now. This inadequate servant to each of you, I received realization things were worked out for me and helping others work out for them as well. That's here. That's this right now. If you have faith, the words that you receive even now, it will do its miracles. After you receive faith as a as a gift, the 66 books of the Bible, you apply it anywhere, miracles will happen. It happens exactly according to that. So it will be done to you according to your wishes. So here today, Moses, if he split the Red Sea, then you and I, we can do that as well. That's This is what Musu Park, you know, the young Tongdo fish went below uh, Jejudo, 100 miles south, and uh, miracles happened. He caught all the school of the fish that year. Is it because of me? No, God did it. John 14, 21, if we love God, us loving God, if, if it, to his heart, then he will use us. He'll make miracles for us. But things aren't working out for you. Even now, you have demon inside. You're double-minded. So Titus 1.16, they're like, Titus 1.15, by your lips, you pretend to know, but your actions, you have not repented. You're, it's in shambles. Your actions, you did, by your actions, you deny him. Those kind of people, no matter how much, even if they die and get born again, gong, they failed. That God will not listen to them. You just have to obey him. That's why Romans 2.13, not listening to the word who are righteous, but not because you heard it and know it, but you have to change it into action. That's a righteous person. That's why if you forced of repentance, you have done that, then your actions have to be changed. How? As a blessed person. And so when you read with one voice, First Thessalonians 2.13, for this reason, we also constantly thank God that when you received the word of God, which you have heard from us, you accepted it not as the word of men, but for what it really is, the word of God, which also performs its work in you who believe. Amen. I mean, the, it only does its works and miracles in you and those who believe. Yet they received the word of God, but only those who believe that it does its miracles. 
Let's all receive this blessing this early morning. This early morning, we all have to receive these blessings. At dawn, God will help us. We have to receive these blessings. If that's the case, Psalms, Psalms 119, verse 147. Let's see if that's written like that or not. Early morning, the promises of God in the early morning, when we have realization and we believe in it, and when we get up before dawn, this four-step repentance, the last, where you cry out, gone to the third step, and you've done that, and when you, without ceasing, gave thanks to God, when you continue, because He will make you continue to have miracles. Some people say well, you have miracles, then a few more years before another miracle, God doesn't go anywhere. When He continues to be with you, you can continue to have miracles. That's why you can pray without ceasing, give thanksgiving without stopping, so that you can continue to have miracles. He does His works in those who believe. These words will do its works and miracles in those who believe. After you do four-step repentance, you have the Word of God. You have done four-step repentance. You have faith or not. There's You have faith. Then those who have the Word of God, the miracles will happen. And they'll receive answers to their prayers. They'll receive answers to their prayers. They'll have healing of sickness and disease. They'll be healed. They'll receive answers to prayers. They'll receive wealth as a blessing. It'll be done to you according to your wishes. Then, if you receive answers to your wishes, is that everything? No, you'll be hellward bound. That's why in Korea. So those who believe in Jesus for a long time, they attend church for a long time, those who do, they have received a lot of blessings. After they receive blessings, then they fall into ruins. Why? Because they don't have verse 48. So verse 148, the, the, they, didn't, they were fixed. They didn't teach that. They received the gospel. They liked it. They're so smiling. They're so uh, giggly. And then they don't know where to go. They're hellward bound. Why live like that? The that of this early morning, Psalms 119, verse 147, 148. Let's read that together, those two verses, for, without the help of verse 48. Let's see, let's see if it works or not. Let's read with one voice. I rise up before dawn and cry for help. I wait for your words. My eyes anticipate the night watches that I may meditate on your word. Amen. Each of you, when you read these words, you don't, if you don't know, know what this is you don't have joy did you just wake up from dozing off it's did you wake up not before dawn but after dawn each of you it says before dawn if you just raised uh, opened your eyes doesn't mean it's before dawn but you have to be awakened through four step repentance you have to be awakened you have to be awakened before dawn and be one that cries out to him that's how you he gives us the words of answer to prayers when you do four step repentance you receive faith as a gift you have received faith as a gift and the word of god does its miracles and your miracles will happen you will receive answers to your prayers and will to your according to your wishes if you have received this then after that what's important it's what's after that is important we have to receive this blessing this, this early this dawn we have to receive that how we not to fall after we receive answers to prayers we have to go the path where we don't fall into ruins after we receive answers to prayers, some people say, if you give too much uh, fertilizer to the tree, it dies. If the child is not qualified, when they receive blessings, when they receive, when their parents give the bless, as a blessed person, we have to change as a blessed person. I'm a blessed person. I've, I've not become a blessed person. Somebody gives them wealth and they're, they're, it ruins them. The tree. You have to give a lot of fertilizer to a big tree, not to a small tree. You give too much fertilizer, the tree dies. Now. So verse 148, the word of the Lord says, says the word of the Lord. What's it saying? The word of Christ. Matthew 16, 16, the Lord is Christ. The word of Christ. The word of Christ. What does the word of Christ do? Romans 10, 17, the word of Christ gives me faith. Gives me faith. Romans 10, 17. We don't have time, so are we not going to look it up and just pass by? Pass it. Faith comes from hearing. Just because you listen doesn't mean you all have faith. You get faith. It's not that God gives it to you. Only You have faith only when you hear the word of Christ. Christ is the mystery of God. Forced our repentance. That's why. It is forced our repentance only when you do forced our repentance. God gives you faith. So therefore, the, the word of forced our repentance, when you meditate on it, what is meditating here? So you, as you live life, your life, if it may be straight and plain, and so even your children, they don't fall. It's not only that you not fall, but even your children, they're straight, they don't fall. And other people, when they come near you, so when you're a blessed person, if they come, come near you, that person, they will not fall either. And, and all that, the work that you do, 
that everything will go well. Everything goes well. That's meditating on the Word of God. When you do that, that's meditating on the Word of God. You say, Amen. You have to receive this. That's why. That's when you cannot fall. You have to avoid falling. When you have to receive this to avoid falling. Through forced step repentance, when you receive answers to your prayers and you receive that, you can't end there. No, after that, when you continue to listen to the word of forced step repentance, you meditate on it in your eyes. You even at night, that you have, I, before it becomes deep night, you have to be awakened. So it says that even though physical sleep you didn't do, but with forced step repentance, you are awake. So here, spiritually awake as well. These words, the one Bible verse. So whole universe. If the if the if it was a bookshelf, there's no way to it will contain all the volume here. When you understand it, one Bible verse. Even if all of Korea is a bookshelf, you cannot put all the content in it. In the universe, so many stars. Even if or all a bookshelf, the content volume here would not fit in that. Here, what's it mean to be awake? Colossians four two, being awake. That's forced step repentance. Through forced step repentance, thanksgiving, we are awake. So, forced step repentance, we give you to the word of the Lord. When you continue to forced step repentance, God gives you faith as a gift. The person that has received faith as a gift, when you continue to forced step repentance, through this forced step repentance, they're baptized. Through Christ, you're baptized. Galatians 3.27. Galatians 3.27, then this baptism, when you continue to force that repentance, receive baptism, and you continue to receive the Holy Spirit. When you continue to force that repentance, then you continue in godliness. So each, the holiness is not the end of it. After you're holy, when you continue to in godliness, you have to continue to be in godliness. Then that's when you can not be a fake Christian and not fall into ruins. That's God's promise. Do you say amen? So verse, uh, verse 48. My, it says, meditate on the word. We're meditating. We're going to meditate early uh, later on, so that my eyes anticipate the night watches, that I may meditate on your words. That I'm awakened before that. So all night you're not able to sleep. You're so, uh, virtually not sleeping. So some people, so those who are not qualified, they blanketly try not to sleep. No, that's a problem. That's the problem. So no matter how much you want to sleep, you're not able to sleep. You have to go to that level. So, but conversely, but on, but when sleep comes, even when I'm sleeping, I I sleep. In the United States, I went to the revival during a, a meal. I was fell asleep, I was all tired, so I slept there. Some people say, people calculate thirty minutes or an hour. I lie down for five minutes and I got up. And they said, "Oh, you're joking." No, Titus one fifteen, because that's all you know, Titus one. But I wasn't joking. I just obeyed the word of God. I wasn't just joking that I'm sleeping. When I feel sleepy, I just sleep. So God says, "You slept it all." I got up. That's then. It was five minutes later. I didn't know some other pastor who was eating. They said, "Pastor, you only you slept for five minutes." So I yeah, I slept. Each of you, you didn't sleep. That's you up to you. But I slept. So then the word of God. These words, when you receive faith as a gift, those who have done forced repentance will receive faith as a gift, and they receive answers to prayers at early morning dawn every day. Then after that, what they do? So this is a very deep relationship with the, these words. When these becomes yours with an amen, that's when you won't fall. And not only will you not fall, this meditating on the word of God. Before worship service, it says meditating on the word of God. That's this. Meditating on the word of God. It's talking about repenting 24 hours. This is what this is the blessed person. Each of you today, Psalms. This when we receive help this early morning, after you do force our repentance, you receive help, and then after that, there are many people who fall into ruins. In verse forty-seven, if you just only do it at that point, you fall into ruins. We have to go to the uh, verse forty-eight for you not to fall into ruins. One forty-eight. That is when you because you continue to go. What's verse one forty-eight? That's a blessed person. Pretty soon, Psalms one, chapter one. It's meditating on the word of God day and night. You become a blessed person. A blessed person, every dawn, you receive help and become a blessed person. You say amen. So every day, we have, when we receive his help, we eat our daily bread, then we don't fall into ruins. But the fakes, they do forced repentance, then they quit doing it. Pretty soon, they, you, later on, they fall into ruins. According to these words, they fall into ruins in a, in a terrible way. But four step repentance, Psalms 119, verse 147. If you have done that, you receive answers to prayers. 
And verse 48, the next verse, every day when you receive His help, and day and night, all day, when we live as a blessed person, when you continue to force that repentance early morning and you receive His help, and we, and after we receive His help, and all day, day and night, when we live through forced step repentance, that person will not fall. Their business will not fall into ruins. They don't have bad health. We all have to receive these blessings. We all have to receive this blessing. So, so what a precious, what, this is so precious. This is so precious. So here in verse Psalms, as, uh, verse 148, let's read that one more time. <laughs> Korean version says that I may meditate on your words. My eyes anticipate the night watch. It says it back, uh, flipped around. My eyes anticipate the night watches that I may meditate on your word. The word of your words, what, what do we do? So it says meditating. So if you do it once and it's over, no, you think that. But that's why Korean churches, the sickness that they have, the famous people of Korea, not before, 10 years ago, not now these days, if they come out on a Christian radio station, they say, you know, meditating on the word of God five hours a day. I said, oh, they're saying the words that are falling to ruins. It's, they're like saying, I'm fake, 24 hours, we have to breathe, but we're going to breathe for five hours. And that's how I lived. No, there can be a lie like, can there be a lie like that? It was, Korea was like that ten, more than the, 10 years ago. The, the, in the radio, they publicly stated that, but in a word, they didn't know. So they were telling lies. That's, uh, not words that live, but words that are dead. They said it, but God, God, when we meditate on the Word of God, then God says to day, do it day and night, like we breathe with our nostrils, or like we breathe, we have to do 24 hours. Who so great, who can say, we don't breathe 24 hours, we breathe five hours. Does that mean they're dead or alive? You know, I'm all. we're all dead, we're all demons, that's what it's saying. Korea was like that. But these days I did not listen, so I did not hear, so I don't know exactly. I hope there won't be anybody like that now, here today. So the word of Christ, forced our repentance, the word of forced our repentance, day and night, meditating on it, day and night. We have to have, live that kind of life. That's why we can be, receive blessings and not fall into ruins. Our life will be straight and good, and we can help other people's life go well. And our, our children, things go well for them. It will work well for us and our descendants will work well for our descendants and we can help others work well for them as well. We have to receive this blessings. That's how we can not fall and go to heaven and do better in Korea right now. There's, if you go to churches where this is, this, is not, uh, this is not shared, they receive blessings that they fall into ruins. I don't know, but there's probably so many because it happens according to the Word of God. Here, what's, let's see what meditating is. The, the Word of the Lord is the Word of forced repentance. Let's look that up. Romans 10, 17. We have to hear the Word of Christ for us to receive a faith that comes upon us. You may not know. The people who don't know, they heard this for the first time. Romans 10, 17. Let's look that up first. Each of you right now, receiving help this, at the dawn, this early morning, when we don't meditate a day and night, uh, on day, if it ends with just early morning, that's big problem. That's why we have to repent three times a day. Psalms 55, verse 17. So you know, verse 17, 55, 17, why did it say these words? So that you'll end up doing all day when you do that, when you, you can make, meditate day and night. That's when you change your fate. You receive blessings infinite. So, and all things work out well. So this early morning, you'll receive the blessings of everything working out well for you. You become a blessed person, receiving the blessings of all things working out. All receive this. This is the word of our Father. Let's receive it all. We're here to receive these blessings. So we're here to receive these blessings. Now, those who didn't know this, you have to listen to this. We have to see this. We listen to this, Romans 10, 17. My, uh, so faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. Amen. Amen. So the, no matter how much you look at the Bible, read the Bible, you don't have faith. You listen to the Bible. Uh, you're killing yourself. You be, you're studying the Bible as a Pharisee. Proverbs 26, verse 9. If you just it's, it's thoroughly killing yourself, don't have that kind of Bible study. Those who study the Bible, they become even worse. So many people are like that in Korea because it's not the word of Christ. The Word of Christ gives us faith, makes us a upright person, makes us go to heaven as an upright person. The sermon, Bible study, without the, uh, the... They're killing themselves. They're really bad. They're killing their children to the third and fourth generations without... Who do they love? If you study like that without Christ, Romans 10, 17, that's faith. Is, faith is the Word of Christ, God's mystery, forced of repentance. When you listen to that, then He'll give us faith. You say, Amen. So 
Now, let's go to the path of meditating. The, meditating on the Word of God day and night. It doesn't say the Lord. So meditate is day and night. It says Psalms 1, as a blessed person, Psalms chapter 1. So it's verse 1 and 2. Verse 2 is long. Verse 1 is the, being a blessed person. When you're clever, you realize, oh, they're a wicked and evil person. That person, they're doing God's works. They're so conni conniving and clever. They're even giving clever in their thanksgiving. That's a wicked person. Ecclesiastes 7.29. So, he created us honest and diligent, but become because you have become clever and you become a dirty individual as you live life. What you realize, I realize that in my life. So even now, those who are clever and conniving and trickery realize they are wicked and evil. Psalms chapter one, verse one: Do not go the path of the wicked when they're clever; they're wicked. So they don't have to receive the Holy Spirit; they have demon inside. So, everybody knows that. Psalms chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. So, How blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. Amen. So, what do you meditate on day and night? The law is the word of Christ. The, through the law, it helps us realize our sins. Romans 3.20, the law helps us realize our sins. So after we realize our sins, we have to do four-step repentance. So this law, when you're meditating on it day and night, that's meditating. So day and night. So how can you do a few hours a day? If you do it day and night, hey, you demon who is dead, the blessed person has to do it day and night. Those who don't have blessings, they're going to receive curses and calamities. They have demon inside. They do it for a few hours. You have to go to heaven, right? After you receive blessings, you have to not fall into ruins. You have to you believe in Jesus. You be a pastor, an elder and deacon, and then you can't go to hell after that. You cannot give calamities to your descendants. And you have to meditate on his word day and night. You have day and night, we have to repent. Day and night, we have to repent. We, day and night we have to repent those the fake churches who have been going to the fake churches that don't do this so you know they had a household and they lose the whole house it's blown away if you don't do that you'll be Howard bound you know if God leaves you to go to hell God has God has not loved you you have to take us away your wealth Deuteronomy 28 20 you have to if you go to our hell we're bound then if you still don't know then he hits your health physically, and he uses nature to hit you as well. God, he is alive. The word is all for our benefit. We have to, something we have to rule over and have dominion over, subdue. It's all ours. Each of you, here today, day and night, the blessed person is the one that meditates on the word of God day and night. That's the blessed person. What? Realizing our sins through four-step repentance. With those who do four-step repentance continually, that's the blessed person. That's the person that doesn't fall. Their business doesn't fall into ruins. They have good health. Their children does even better. This is the blessed person. Receive help early morning and receive answers to prayers. And, and all day, live as a blessed person. Day, as all day, let's live as a blessed person. Do you want, if you want to say amen, if you want to live as a blessed person, if you want to become a blessed person, say amen. You have to, we have to meditate on the Word of God. We have to meditate on His words today. A blessed, a blessed person meditates on the Word of God day and night, realizing our sins and doing forced our repentance. The person that does that, no matter how much they receive blessings, they don't fall. They receive blessings, those who have problems, they go to the church where they have not done this. That's why God, now, I have waited. I've waited a long time. For Second Peter chapter 3, verse 9. Second Peter we repent. He waited and we didn't do it. So he's going to make our business fall into ruins. He's going to take away our money. We're guilty of that. There's, there's so many people who have gone to the church are fake and they're really being punished. The way for us to be made alive is for us to meditate on the Word of God day and night. If we just do this, we'll be made alive. We'll be revived. If we fall, then we repent. We'll be revived. If we're raised back up, I hope that you all are revived and you'll do better and better. You'll be made alive. There's only this. Only this. So this this prayer of meditation, meditating on the Word of God night, straightens our life, the path in our life. It, it straightens the life of our descendants. Everything will go well in your life. It makes us that. Joshua chapter 1. We don't have time. Let's read verse eight, 7 and 8 only. Each of you. What great promise this is. So if you don't know this and you went around to church, oh, really? In a bag of rice, when you receive answers to prayers, the rain wet it. Do not worry. There's... You know, you can make rice to it still. So tomorrow, what do we eat? 
you know, those who worry about tomorrow, that's demonic. Today's worries is enough for today. That's Matthew chapter 6. Oh, I make all this rice cake. What am I going to do? Then share how much you didn't give to others. God makes you have, make a whole bowl of rice to share with others. Luke 6, 38, blessed are those who give. Then when you give 30 times and greater, you will receive. Let's rec we have to live life receiving these blessings. Now, it's not a calamity, but it's blessings. It's all a blessing. God is such a wonderful God. Each of you right now, what is, what's Pastor Park good for? No, I'm really bad. I'm worse than each of you. Uh, if I don't properly share that you're doing well, I'm sitting before God, preventing you from doing well. So I'm the one with more sins than you. But when I repent, there's no past. He forgives right away. When I repent, you come made clean. So each of you, you know, you take the cleanest thing and drink it as water, even a cup. When you go to the, on a hike in the mountain, there's a few vessels. What's dirty? If somebody, you don't use somebody who blew their nose, use the one that blew, somebody blew their nose on. You use the cleanest one. God is like that as well. That's Second Timothy chapter 20, verse 21. Chapter uh, Second Timothy 2, 20, 21. When you meditate day and night, the word of God, God he makes, wants us to be thankful without ceasing. He'll make miracles happen. Each of you, as servants of power, let's help others and live a great life and live as a rightful person. If you want to live as a right person, say amen. Say amen. If you want to live as a rightful person, an upright person, whoever it is, we have to live life receiving these blessings. Each of you, how great that is. That's why I passed the park. When I, even on the street, when I see a patient, I heal them, not me, but the Word of God. When you live like that, is it, do you have a headache? Do you have uh, stomach pains? No, it's so great. It's so great living like that. So, God, He wants us to use us. That's each of you who are here, you and me, helping save. We're the light, helping save this country. James chapter 3, verse 1, we're a fire to Republic of Korea, casting out the darkness and that will light it on fire. We all have to receive these blessings. We have, to, uh, we have to help save the world. We have to help save the world. Those who came throughout the world, let's help save the world. If you're cleansed, clean, He uses you. When you meditate on the Word of God day and night, He uses you. Each of you, I hope that you do well. When you pray for... If you have a clean car, they use you. And clean road. Then you ask them for errands. You ask them to do things. But if they, are, if their road is crooked, there's no road, then they, you don't use them. That's the people who live well, they help others to live well. There are many people like that. Whatever I, The people, whatever they do, they are successful, they teach others to be successful. Those who fall into ruins, they teach others to fall into ruins as well. Because that's all they know. So when our life is straight and and good, that's living a life of faith. Everything working out, that's meditating on the Word of God. Do you say Amen? This early morning service, I hope that you receive this help. Through this help, that you become a blessed person. That you become a blessed person. God is such a wonderful God. Now, Joshua chapter 1. If we have time, we'll read all the whole chapter. But today, let's read verse 7 and 8 only. We don't have time even to read verse 9. Let's read verse 7 and 8. Only be strong and very courageous. Courageous. Be careful to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, so that you may have success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have success. You say Amen. You say Amen. Meditating on the Word of God, that's changing our faith and our destiny. Meditating on the Word of God, that's being a blessed person. Meditating on the Word of God, that's opening up the path for you. Meditating on the Word of God, everything, you'll have success wherever you go. Everything going well for you. Let's receive this blessing in the early morning, at dawn, this, er, this early morning. Let's say Amen. And I'll receive this blessing. I hope you all receive this blessing by saying Amen. Oh, Lord, thank you. I'm so thankful. Lord, I'm so thankful. To today, living a life of faith, people say they've gone the wrong path. And if there's a, pa a pa blind in front and they follow and they fall into ruins, Matthew 15, 14. So they, uh, Matthew 23, 15, they, uh, where there's no Christ, there's, they go where there's no meditating of the Word of God. They receive answers to prayers. They never even receive that. 
and then they fall, they receive a blessing accidentally and they fall into ruins. They're unlucky. They're not blessed. Their path is not straight and smooth, and there's a lot of ditches in their path. Then, and not the people for whom things are not working out for for them. But today, with the meditating on the Word of God, their path will become straight. They become a blessed person. Everything will work out well for them. Those who want to go in this path, let's receive help in the at dawn. Let's receive help this early morning. Let's receive help this early morning. Each of you, when you live like this in this way, then you become a blessed person. Our country will be a blessed country. Do you say Amen? When we do what? When we meditate on the Word of God day and night. What? Forced our repentance. When we do that day and night, then have proper realization and change your, I hope that you change your faith. Up until now, you face difficulty because you're not able to do that today before the Lord. Lord, my eyes were dim. My ears were uh, not hearing. I be, did not do forced our repentance. I was a blind. I went wherever. And, uh, I went around just because it looked good and seemed good, but they... I realized that they're evangelizing me and helping me become a, a child of hell. Even more, Psalms 23, verse 15. Some people say, where does it say that? It says in Matthew 23, 15. So they say uh, the excuse of evangelizing and they go around. They don't have uh, the Christ and they're making them a child of hell. They're bringing everybody as a child of hell. There's no Christ. Matthew 23, 15. Uh, it's some fancy mission team. They don't realize that they're a demonic team, not an evangelistic team. So it's, it's a demon team, not a evangelistic team. Regardless of what they said, without Christ, they're a demonic team. They go, you follow that. Matthew 23, 15. This book of the law shall not depart from... Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because you travel around on sea and land to make one proselyte, and when you become one, when he becomes one, you make him twice as much a son of hell as yourselves. And they said, oh, I was evangelized by this uh, evangelistic team. They don't have Christ. They're not evangelistic team. They're trying to boast their own name. They're a team of hell, of Satan. They're wicked, wanting to boast their own name. They evangelize to make them twice the son of hell. They're the ones, they're Pharisees and Sadducees, they're mocking the word of God. Luke 16, 14, these are the ones, what they share. They're making the son, children, others a son of hell. They mock the word of God and the mystery of Christ. These are the ones, they're ignoring the word of God. They like money and worldly fame and they want to boast their own name. They're Pharisees that's going to face the wrath of God. When you're evangelized to a place like this, you'll go to hell twice as fast. Many times as fast, you'll go to hell. That's not being evangelized to, you're being sent to hell. That said, people don't even realize that they said I'm at such a church. I was, I was evangelized. I went. I'm a. You evangelized. You're to hell. Those people, you'll be going hellward bound twice as fast. No, those kind of people, they can come towards God. God will save them. They can be made alive. That's why. Don't be discouraged. Christ, Christ is um, Romans four seventeen. Even the dead will be made alive. So, Luke sixteen fourteen. <coughs> now the Pharisees were lovers of money. Were listening to all these things and were scoffing at him. They listened to the word of God and they were scoffing at it. God's mystery forced their repentance. You talk about that and they scoff at it. They're, they're laughing at it. They're all Pharisees and Sadducees, those individuals. They like to boast their own name. They like titles. If they don't boast their own name, they don't want to do anything. But when they can boast their name, they want they fight over to do it. They're the ones that evangelize and sell, make children of hell. Those you evangelize to that. Some people came here. I'm part of some church. They say, uh, their famous church, you know, they're famous to be hellward bound. They don't even realizing that and say that that's famous church or famous whatever. Let's come to our senses. The word of God, those who scoff at it, look at it lightly. There are Pharisees and Sadducees, Matthew chapter 23, whole chapter. They're going to face the wrath of God, them and their descendants. If you evangelize, to, if they evangelize, then they're evangelizing to others to be be hellward bound twice as fast. Those kind of people, they can be saved when they repent. Whoever it is, when they receive forgiveness, they can be made alive. When they go into Christ, they can be made alive. I hope you all receive this blessing this early morning. Let's receive this blessing that we can all be made alive. We can all be made alive. Now, even now, what kind of heart that you have? Psalms 139, verse 1. He knows our, I know all your thoughts, God says, this hour to your children. He will give us a calamity right away. If you if you sit here and you mock the word of God, that calamity will go to your child right away. That's Proverbs 19, 13. You can do whatever you want, but whether you can be punished, your calamity and your children, your families and their sins as they live, you add that up. And the boat is about to sink if you mock the word of God. 
you become a Pharisee that's going to face the wrath of God. If you give that to your descendants, your children, the grenade's about to explode. But if the father takes off the pin, then the, ex the, thing ex uh, the grenade explodes. That's having an accident or a car accident or whatever. And the, if you want to receive that calamity, you can. If you want to meditate on the Word of God and receive bless or want to receive blessings, then you can do that. Let's do one or the other. Let's go the path of receiving blessings instead of med meditating on the Word of God. Through meditating on the Word of God, let's receive blessings. We have to receive these blessings. That's how Korea can be made alive. As a blessed person, there's e in each of you, Korea will be made alive. If you want to do well, that even faster, all of the people have to receive blessings. Let us all be witnesses. God, if you don't receive blessings, He doesn't leave us. When you don't receive blessings, you receive curses. Deuteronomy 30, verse 15. If you don't receive the blessings in front of you, receive curses. You take one or the other. Let's only receive blessings, each one of us. Let's cry out to the Lord three times. Let's become a person that's blessed. Now, let's not be a person that believes in Jesus and then falls into ruins later. We have to have heaven, everlasting heaven, ours. Let's every day change our faith. Everything will go well for us. I'm receiving everything good, thing good. Up until now, the difficult life you had, you were sick. You were facing difficulty. You didn't have enough money. Your family problems. You didn't. You didn't have good life. Let's. I hope that through the medit meditating on the Word of God, it will happen that you'll everything will go well. That's meditating on the Word of God, realizing your sins and repenting that. That's meditating on the Word of God. Don't say uh, lies like meditating a few hours. No, that's that's lies. Don't the fact that you pull the Christians to make them twice as. All the Korean churches have to repent that we sent. We made them um, go be hellward bound. Uh, sons of hell, no, let's cry out to the Lord. Uh, we have to repent, meditate on the Word of God and repent. Lord, 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 Father God, I live so wrongly. Uh, where is it that I've been going around? Where is it that I've been going? I've gone to the place of hellward bound and where I'm going to face the wrath of God this hour. Let me receive your forgiveness. From now on, help us to have a new beginning as a blessed person that all things will go well.